Well, welcome to Wales, everybody. Um, thank you very much for coming. Um, this is going to be a sort of a national event hosted by Wales uh, with sort of association with the Intercollegiate Board for Training pre hospital Emergency Medicine. So the idea of today is just to do a train the trainer event. So the idea is we've got some um, brilliant speakers from across the country um, to help educate everybody in how to support our FEM trainees. Uh, so welcome, we've got colleagues from East of England that I'm aware of, Oxford, Scotland, Wales obviously, so genuinely across the whole country. Um, as you've arrived and as you can see we are filming the event today. The reason that we're doing that is to try and spread the learning from today and make that accessible to people that haven't been able to make it. So just before we sort of start formally, has anybody got any objections to being potentially caught on camera and that being shared uh, at sort of national meetings and things? Everybody happy with that? Yeah, lovely, thank you. Um, so how, how's today come about? Um, partly as an old habit, really. So as a FEM trainee, uh, flicking through the curriculum, I thought, oh, I don't know very much about obstetrics, um, you know, from a FEM perspective. So I created a national FEM train, the sort of obstetrics day FEM training in OBS, uh, as a trainee, and that's now been running through three or four years. It's been quite successful. So now I've finished, and now I'm an educational supervisor that's just started. I thought, oh, I know. <laughs> I better find out what I'm meant to be doing. So I thought I'd create today. Um, so uh, contact people from... Uh, uh, intercoll intercollegiate board um, and here we are um, so it has been genuinely a big collaborative effort so the board are supporting us today by providing the lunch and by providing all the expenses for all of the speakers that have traveled from uh, sort of far afield Wales Air Ambulance have supported us significantly by providing this room which is a corporate room but they've not charged us at all for the event um, today, EMRTS, which is sort of working in collaboration with the Air Ambulance, has provided us with us some administrative support through Steve, Seri and Emily, who have been sort of brilliant at helping organise all this for us. Um, we've got Steve from ABMU um, and the local health board who are filming it to share the videos and they're doing that for free um, to help educate our staff here in Wales, but they're also very happy for us to share that nationally, so a massive thank you to them for uh, for doing that for free and then we've got um, colleagues from the professional sport unit here uh, with the Welsh Deanery who again are going to be doing their bit and they're, they're providing that all in there all time so what we have achieved is a, a very low cost if you like for a national event by working collaboratively so I'm very grateful to everybody that's helped us do that um, so We've got a timetable, there's, there's copies at the back if you've not got one uh, on your seat, but essentially in a few minutes I'm going to be passing you over uh, to Dr Simon Lewis who is going to be talking about the FEM training and the FEM curriculum um, and walking you through that and he's been sort of in this since it was first even conceived so there is nobody with a better understanding of the FEM curriculum and he's one of the, the sort of chairs of the curriculum committee as well. Um, we're then passing you over to our very own Ian Bowler, um, who is the local TPD here for FEM training, and he's going to be talking people through about how to use workplace-based assessments and how to get the most out of them, and some of the difficulties and the challenges that that can present us as trainers when we're trying to keep the patient safe, but also um, train the trainee and give them training opportunities at the same time. Um, we're then going to pass over to Dr. Ron McKenzie, who's... Um, the ex or just outgoing if you like convener of uh, the exams at the Royal College of Surgeons in Edinburgh so he's got years of experience now of the exam and we're hoping that Phil Hyde who's now the current convener is going to be joining us shortly um, to talk sort of collaboratively about how we prepare the FEM trainees for these national summative assessments and that's been one of the the challenges again of trainers is how we prepare people for exams that potentially we've not sort of sat ourselves so um, that all will be invaluable and then we go into this Q&A session so what I'm hoping if it's possible is we're going to just get the speakers to run through their talks and not interrupt them too much by questions and then we're going to have a sort of free roaming mic opportunity to ask any questions anybody wants on any of those sort of sessions and then we'll go into lunch 
And then after lunch, um, we've got Scott Greer, who is an ex-FEM trainee and currently a registrar, almost at consultant level, who is going to be sharing a um, case personal to him um, and how that affected him. And then we've got Vicky, who's a CCP with uh, GNAS, and how she helped Scott initially um, sort of deal with that case um, and talking a little bit about the sort of trim method of... Um, sort of helping trainees that may suddenly be faced with a, a, an extremely traumatic event. And then we'll be passing over to Leona from the uh, um, local professional support unit and she's going to be talking about how to make a referral locally but also nationally. They're, they're, they're pretty similar sort of things as what they can do to offer to support trainees. And then we're into coffee again. And then we're going to pick back up with Simon, who's going to talk about the TAP process, the e-portfolio, um, and the sort of preparing the trainees for that end of year um, accreditation process and how we do that as supervisors. <coughs> and then we'll round up the day again with a QA and a session um, and then just sort of summary and feedback and things. So we have now got um, CPD points from both the Royal College of Anaesthetists and um, College of Emergency Medicine, so they've both awarded us six CPD points for this event, but we do need the feedback for those points to be sort of guaranteed. So you won't get a certificate unless you give me a feedback form. Okay. Um, so on that, yeah, please fill in the feedback and we'll exchange those at the end of the day for, uh, uh, for the certificates. So as I've said, um, normally we'd just leave questions to those Q&A sessions if possible. Um, but if anybody's got any quick questions you need sort of clearing up now, now is a good time to sort of shout out. Anybody got any questions? No, lovely. In that case, I'll pass you over to our first speaker.